Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'll be showing you how to draw Ryolu from Pokemon. Let's get started in the center of our page with the eyes. So we're going to start on the left side of center and draw the upper eyelid. So we start on the outside and just curve down and then in. We're going to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right. So let's line up the inside, curve up and then out. Now from the outside, I just want to curve down and then back towards the inside, almost like a half oval. So let's start on the left side here, curve down to the bottom of the eye, and I'm just going to pull that up towards the inside. Let's do the same thing on the right, starting from the inside, curve down to the same height as we have on the left, and then pull that up to the outside of the eyelid. Now I'm going to tuck the iris and pupil in underneath this eyelid. So I'm going to start about halfway along the upper eyelid, I'm going to draw a half oval, coming down and then back up. I'm going to leave a little space along the bottom and I'm just going to pull that back up. We're going to do the same thing on the right side. Starting on the inside, we'll curve down. Now I'm just going to pull that all the way up. Now in the center here, I'm going to draw a small little oval for the pupil. Starting from the very top, curve down and then back up. We're going to fill that in black. And we'll do the same thing on the right. And just in between the eyes, I want to draw on the bridge of the nose. So we're going to draw a curve from left to right, going up and then down. Now from here, I'm going to work in the outside perimeter of the head. So we're going to start at the very top. We start with a curve from left to right, going up in the middle, and then back down on the right. Now I'm going to tuck the little points in behind this curve. So starting on the left side, we're going to step in, curve up and out towards the left. Now we're going to go to the right side and do the same thing. From these points, I want to curve around the eyes and then down towards the chin. So let's start on the left side here. I'm going to curve down. I'm going to come around the eye. Now I'm going to pull this in towards the center, towards the chin. Now I want to work my way back up towards the right side. Going around the eye. I'm just going to pull that all the way up towards that right point. Now let's go back inside and draw in some detail. So right in the center here, I'm going to draw a point. From this point, I want to curve up and out towards the left, aiming towards the eye, to right about there. Go back to the center point and curve up and out towards the right. Now I'm going to curve around the eye and then towards the side of the head. So start on the left side, I'm going to go down around the eye and then up towards the side of the head. And then just below this point, I'm going to draw a curve from left to right for the mouth. Let's draw on the upper edge of the mask. So above the eye, we're going to start on the side of the head, we're going to curve down and then in. I'm going to leave a little space in the center. I'm going to do the same thing on the right, curving up and then out. I'm going to connect these two points with a curve, coming down in the middle and back up on the right side. Now let's move to the side of the head and draw on the two ears. So we're going to start at the top edge of this mask, I'm going to curve down and out towards the left. Go to the right side and do the same thing. Now I'm going to round out the ends and then pull them back up behind the head. So let's start on the left side. I'm going to blend this into a curve coming around. Now I'm going to taper this ear going up so it gets narrower as we come up towards the head. Do the same thing on the right. Blend this into a curve. Now I'm going to pull this up in behind the head. Just below the head, I'm going to draw in the collar. So on the left side, I'm going to start by curving down in the middle and pulling that up on the right side. Now I'm going to have this character pose so that the right arm is in front of the body. So we're going to start just below the collar on the right side here, curve down and over towards the left, and go all the way down to right about there. Now from the bottom of this arm, I'm going to curl around the first paw. I'm going to come around. Now I'm just going to pull that up. We're going to step down and draw another curve, going down and then up. Now the third paw is going to go all the way around and we're going to taper the arm up towards this collar. Start by curving around. Now I'm going to pull this up and in, right towards the head. And as we get towards the collar, I'm just going to hook it back down. Now on the back side of the arm, he's got this large oval. So we're going to start at the very top, come down towards sort of the middle finger there and pull that back up and then around. 
Now let's go in and tuck the body in behind this arm. So I'm gonna start on this side of the collar here, curve down, and we're gonna pull that out towards the left. Now we're gonna draw in the thigh. From this point, I'm gonna draw almost like a circle going around, and it's gonna get tucked in behind the paw. Now I'm gonna take this curve, flip it over on the right side. So we're gonna line up the top, and curve out, and then pull that in behind the arm. Let's add that detail in the body here. So in the center, I'm gonna draw a point. From this point, I'm gonna angle down and out towards the left. From that top, we're gonna to come down in behind the arm. Now from this point, I just wanna angle up towards the side of the body. Now with the left arm, I'm gonna have it pushed out towards the side. So we start right beside the collar here, I'm gonna curve down and out towards the left. Now I'm gonna round out the first paw. I'm gonna curve this around and then pull that up. I'm gonna step down, draw the second paw going around and then up. Now the third paw is gonna go all the way around in behind the head. Again, we wanna taper this arm so it gets a little bit narrower as we come in. Now I'm gonna draw that oval on the side of the arm here. So we'll start at the very top, come out towards the left, up towards the right, and then connect it at the very top. Now I'm gonna tuck the lower legs in behind the thigh. So I'm gonna start on the side of the thigh here, I'm gonna curve down and out towards the left. We're gonna line up the right side and do the same thing. Now I'm gonna curve down towards the lower part of the foot. So going out and then coming down. Now from here I wanna curl around the first toe. So from this point I'm gonna blend into a curve going all the way around up towards the top. Now I'm gonna draw another one right beside it. So at the bottom, I'm gonna curve around. Now I'm not gonna go all the way, I'm just gonna curve up to where it's there. Do one more. To that point right there. Now from here, I'm gonna curve up the inner part of the leg. Now I'm gonna taper this as I come up behind the thigh. So start by going up and then curving over. Let's do the same thing on the right side. From this point of the leg, I'm gonna curl around, almost like drawing a circle. I'm gonna stop right at the very top. At the bottom, I'm gonna curve the second toe going around and then stopping at the very top. And then the third toe, going around and then in. And then again, we're gonna curve the inner part of the leg. Now we're gonna taper this as we come up towards the thigh. Start by going up and then curving in. At the top of the leg, I'm gonna draw a short angled line just for the knee, coming inwards on both sides. Now the final thing I'm gonna do is add the tail over on the right side. So we start right where the arm meets the thigh. We curve up. And now towards the right. Now I'm gonna hook this back down and out. From here I'm gonna hook it back. So we're gonna taper it back with a short line coming in. Now I'm gonna taper this back in behind the thigh. So from here I'm just gonna curve across and then in behind the thigh. And there we have it. There's Raiolu from Pokemon. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe because I'm sharing new lessons seven days a week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.